So, you want to improve your Foxhole experience? This video will outline all the essentials that every Foxhole player should at least consider. Ranging from easiest to hardest, we will be looking at game settings to improve visibility at night, Discord voice chat settings, and installing some very useful mods. In Foxhole, when it gets dark, it gets dark. With these two settings, you can change your visibility at night from this to this. You can find these settings by hitting escape and navigating to the options and then to graphics. Here is the gamma and post processing. For gamma, increasing it to max makes this difference. And for post processing, changing it to low makes this difference. Do keep in mind though that this will impact the daytime as well and make it feel washed out. So maybe only change these when you need to or find the right balance in between. Next, we will look at Discord settings that can improve your comms. Many regiments in foxholes use Discord voice chats for communication. Sometimes things can get messy in the voice chat. It doesn't help when you can hear each other in, on Discord, even when you're talking in game. You will hear this, Hey Bush, how's your day today? But they will hear this, Hey Bush, hey Bush how's, how's your day, your day today? today? Why am I Why talking, am I talking to, to a, a bush? bush? There's two possible solutions for this. There is push to talk, which makes it that the microphone only activates when you press a button. And there's push to mute, which will temporarily mute your microphone in Discord when a button is held. To get this to work properly, you should set it to the same button you normally use for the in-game voice chat. That way, when you press the button to talk in-game, you'll be muted on Discord. Now for the mods. Foxhole has many mods that can do anything from small UI changes to entire vehicle overalls. In this video though, we will only be looking at three essential mods to improve your Voxel experience. You can find mods on websites like Nexus Mods and itch.io and on Discord servers like Foxhole Mod Nexus. The links to those websites and the mods listed in this video are in the description. In my opinion, the most important mod for you to get is one of the colored inventory icon mods. I use this one by Sentu because of its style and the extra information it displays on the icons, like ammo types and the name of the weapon. The best part of this mod is that it distinguishes the types of items by color, making it easier to find items in inventories and on the map. Next we will look at the improved map mod by Restored. This mod overhauls the Foxhole map and adds extra details like where the rapid decay zone is, where mortar houses are located, and most importantly, it highlights the roads and even distinguishes the tier of road with color. For this mod, I would recommend the complete multi version. The last mod we will look at is the advanced compass mod by Hubert. This mod adds many options that overhaul the compass in Foxhole. I would recommend the advanced compass Aussie version because it's similar to vanilla and doesn't clutter the compass. Seeing the azimuth on the compass can be useful for artillery engaging the azimuth of the wind. To install a mod, first you go to the mods website and you navigate to the download button. For this mod, I'm going to download all three of the versions. Then you need to go to your Foxhole game files. The easiest way to do this is to bring up your Steam, right click on Foxhole, click on properties, then go to installed files and browse. It'll open up a new window and you need to go into war, content, packs, and then in here you drag and drop all of the files that you downloaded and there you're done. Now it should work just as it is and if you want to remove these mods all you need to do is go over and delete them. Just remember that when Foxhole updates, these mods might break. If that does happen, remove the mod and keep an eye on the website until it gets updated by the mod author.